What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. I know y'all have been waiting for this one, so this one's about Lupe Fiasco's latest album called Food and Liquor 2, The Great American Rap Album Part 1. A lot of y'all already know who Lupe is. I'm not really going to spend a lot of time on his history. Um, check my last review if you want to get a little history backdrop or whatever. Um, this album is supposed to be a comeback to his signature sound that, you know, everybody fell in love with with his debut album. And um, I'll talk about the content and if he return to that sound later but um what I want to talk about now is the artwork I like the statement bold statement everything's black you know except for obviously the parental advisory shit the barcode you open it up everything's still black take the insert out everything's black every page is black so, you know, it had me wondering in the beginning when I first got this CD, I was like, what the fuck? Where's, um, who's credited for making the beats and shit like that, the features and everything? And um, the last track on this, on this album, um, I forget what the track is called, but um, I put it onto my iTunes already. It's called um, For Those Who Want to Know or some, it's some weird name. But um, it's basically Lupe saying, um, for credits, lift up the CD tray. So pull out the CD tray and you got all the credits and shit right there. So that that's pretty cool, you know. It, it forces you to be somewhat interactive with the... Uh, CD tray or artwork or whatever for lack of a better word but um yeah that's my thoughts on the artwork and um props to Lupe for that that's sort of original gets your brain going now I'm gonna talk about um some of the producers on this bitch and the content of the album also the features let's talk about some of the producers on this bitch you got Soundtrack on here. Larence Dobson and C. Brody. Trying to bend this into the light. You got Simon Says and B Sides. You got Fampties and Bullet. Audibles. You have Mr. Incredible. I said Lauren Stopson already. We had the Runners. We have Severe. Pro J. Infamous. And King David. Some co production by Pooh Bear. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, sound wise, on here, what kills me about this album is mostly the production, yet again. Um, you would think with this album being Food and Liquor 2, it was gonna bring that sound from the original Food and Liquor. And it it was like a, 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 a mesh of his old food and liquor sound 
with some of the shit from Lasers. And um, if y'all watch my last shit that's um, that had to do with Lasers, you know, I, I said that a lot of that production really didn't fit Lupe and it just took away from what he was trying to say. And um, it's like half and half with this one. I think the sound quality on this, uh, uh, beat wise, I mean, was a little bit better than um, than Lasers. Although, you know, it's not too far away. It's, it's, it's just stemming a little bit. It's like a blend, a blend or a mesh of food and liquor and uh, lasers. Some of the beats on there, just like, you know, Lupe could have came with that food and liquor shit. And, um, yeah, that's how I feel about that. Features on this bitch. Casey Benjamin. Mm, Hubert, Bilal, Guy Sebastian. Jane Money and Jason Evergan. Okay, so there's a few features on here. Not a lot, which is good. Y'all know how I feel about that shit. Um, they do their thing, I guess, but um, for all the uh, singing features, I felt. I mean, it's cool to have Bilal, you know, Bilal, he, he makes his rounds, but, um, you know, when I hear Lupe, I'm so used to hearing, um, what's this dude's name, Matthew Santos, I don't know what Lupe's doing with that dude, I don't know if that dude's still on, um, 1st and 15th or whatever, um, that dude has such a unique voice, and Lupe needs to utilize that dude for hooks, because that dude makes catchy ass fucking hooks if you don't know who Matthew Santos is he's the dude that did the um, hook for uh, Superstar who pays uh, singles one of his um, singles off of the cool but um features did their thing they weren't too overbearing now I'm gonna talk about some of the content and some of the tracks I love the way the album starts out with the um this girl, Aisha Jacko, who obviously is related to Lupe Fiasco, because um, Jacko is uh, his last name. But um, yeah, she does this nice spoken word shit that brings you into the album real nice. Um, definitely, it, it's a strong tone and it s sort of hyped me up for the album. And. Um, you know, I move forward to Around My Way, Freedom Ain't Free. Now, a lot of y'all might have heard this track already. It's the song where um, Lupe is rapping over the Troy beat. They Reminisce Over You by uh, Pete Rock. Pete Rock's a beat, and uh, there was some controversy. Uh, it was a few months ago regarding this song because uh, Pete Rock was supposed to have some say or some type of input on the beat but supposedly Lupe didn't get in touch with it. It's it just bullshit. It spawned another bullshit beef that was fucking corny but I tell you what, great song came out of it. That's all I care about. Um, that's a nice socially conscious track nice hard-hitting track uh, definitely love it I think Pete Rock should sit back listen to the track and be like yo that shit was hot you know he did it for hip-hop so um, yeah um, what else could I talk about heart donor is a chick track um, that's definitely that that should be a single all the way that and the track after it how dare you feature in Bilal. Those two tracks have single written all over it. Um, shit for the girls, you know, Lupe's being lyrical on the track, so I mean, it, it wasn't simple minded bullshit. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna backtrack for one track, 
that I really love on this album called Strange Fruition featuring uh, Casey Benjamin. Dope fucking track. Uh, that definitely reminds me of Food and Liquor right there. Lupe going in. Um, dope beat. Simple yet dope beat. It does its uh, thing. Lupe goes in and um, he is just killing it. He's basically talking about uh, this generation. He's criticizing it, saying how um, this generation has like a slave mentality and they're more concerned with fronting with their swag and shit like that. I fucking love that. Lupe at his fucking finest is on that song. And that's track two on the album. Um, basically, Lupe got it lyrically on this album. He he still got it. Um, like on tracks like Bitch Bad, which some of y'all might have seen the video or heard this uh, single. The, the content is dope. He's basically talking about the use of the word bitch, how it's used to objectify women and how some women um, embrace it when they shouldn't because younger women um well how younger women embrace it and they watch videos and they want to be that bitch and this and that you know what i'm trying to say and i'm only laughing because y'all know that i throw that word around like it's nothing but um you know um part of me agrees with lupe but um on the real some women deserve to be called bitches that's just plain and simple um but the thing about that track that this is a prime example of um great content great material but the production kind of throws me off um same with um let me see i think it was i think it was a uh, lamborghini angels now nah, that one that one i i could deal with I think it was Autobahn Ballroom. Like, some of these tracks on here just, you know, I feel like they, they were laser layoffs or, or B-sides, excuse me. And um, it just, like, some of these tracks just, you know, again, the contents there, just the sound just kind of irritates me. Uh, Hood Now, I felt that could have been better. Um, you know, it's just that that was too chanty for 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 um, Lupe's style. He's not really like a chanty type rapper, but I guess it was something different. I don't know. It, it, it really, to me, it kind of was a curveball. You know, it's like and not really in totally a good way. You know, I'd say maybe 40, 60. But um, yeah, those are my thoughts. My rating of this album, I would give it like a 6.75 to uh, 7. I, like I said, I liked it a little bit better than Lasers, although I feel that he still wants to do that sound because a part of me feels that Lupe is full of shit. You know, I, I love Lupe as an artist and everything, but part of me feels he's full of shit because he played that whole rebellious role close to two years ago saying oh well you know um the the labels making me do shit i don't want to do and this and that i'm leaving atlantic i can't take it anymore and this and that then he came out with lasers and you know how that story went so then he comes out with that mixtape friend of the people which is supposed to be a mixtape you're supposed to do whatever you want to fucking do on it and it still had that sound that that futuristic pop sound and um, on this album I think he's trying to he it's like he he's he, he hasn't completely made up his mind and um, still like it content is strong again yet the sound is the sound needs to be fucking cohesive and those are my thoughts on it Y'all know the deal, leave your love, leave your hate, most of all subscribe, support dope shit, 
that's it. Alright? Peace, bitches.